Today is the day Guam joins the ranks of all 50 states, establishing a supplier of manufactured submarine parts for the United States Navy. 3D printed Navy submarine parts could be made right here in Guam as soon as the end of next year. This according to Neil Oringer, president of Astro America. The nonprofit organization is leading the Guam Advanced Material and Manufacturing Accelerator, or GAMA, Guam's first advanced manufacturing hub. We are here to build a Guam-based factory that's going to make parts made in Guam. We're going to be helping students from Guam become mechanical engineers, and we're going to help them get employed, and we're going to start making advanced metal parts, first for the Navy, for the submarine force, and possibly for other industries. A groundbreaking and blessing ceremony was held at a Dededo facility on Thursday with prototypes on display. It's a collaboration between the government of Guam and the U.S. Navy, five years in the making, that's expected to strengthen both military defense and Guam's economy. Governor Lou Leon Guerrero says the new industry will create jobs, train students, and streamline the supply chain. From training, to production, to sustainment, to continued on to the future, and to even go outside the fence to provide parts for cars. How many times do our ambulances go down and we can't get the parts quick enough for those ambulances to get back on the streets? It's going to be a key player for many, many of our production and materials that we need. While the 8,000-square-foot Gamma Application Center was still empty on Thursday, Oringer says it will soon house high-tech equipment that can create critical components on demand. If we can start doing just-in-time manufacturing here in Guam, it's going to change everything. And as we start having some successes with the Navy, we're going to move to other industries as well. That's why Guam, because Guam is ready for this. We have incredible people here. We have really determined and intelligent students, and we're ready to move to the next stage. The project is currently in phase one. He says construction will continue through early 2026, with phase operations beginning soon after. Matsuki Hirayama, KUEM News.